a very good afternoon that bike blogger here and on my way to home well visited the dentist today one whole field again next visit in a few months well, hopefully this bike ride goes as smooth as the last one because when I drove from Groningen to Rappigedam it was a quite nice and fast bike ride And hopefully this will be too a nice bike ride. Like I earlier mentioned, I'm gonna split the videos into probably four different parts. Number part one or four, two or four, three or four and four or four. And of course I'm gonna make a total video of the whole drive no wrong exit well I really would have stayed a little bit longer or liked to have stayed a little longer but due to work I have to go back a meeting actually no okay because today is a dry day tomorrow will be rain by the way I'm fiddling with my backpack I'm wearing a pair of shorts and a sleeveless shirt some shoes and socks of course flip-flop with me but not wearing them not needing them at the moment I also have my back camera attached to the seat post facing backwards filming in the front view I'm hearing the sound of a SJ cam X, SJ no SJ cam SJ 5000 X Elite and on the seat post facing backwards for people who want to know the Nikkei Extreme X6 filming in 4K as yes filming in 2K but somehow it looks the same No expectancy of rain today. It's 19.8 degrees. Ideal cycling weather.
I'm feeling a little headwind. Last time I did it in one hour and five minutes and several seconds. Let's see how fast it's going to be. Be the back, uh, the right back, back right, right back. Pussycat. To my right, the Ames Canal, not visible to you because the dike is a little bit too high. That will be changing in a little while, then I will go on top of the dike and you can see the water and hopefully some ships, wouldn't that be nice? While I was away from home, videos were posted on YouTube automatically. One last morning, yesterday morning, one yesterday evening at 8, and another one this morning at 8. It's a steep, steep bike lane. Well, let's push. We are now on top of the dike. The ship and the crane are installing steel plates into the, the side of the dike to reinforce it. There's actually a shipping lane from down south to Groningen, actually to Lemmer. And there are sh ships on here coming by, not now but normally, when they, they come by, they have a wave in the end which smashes into the sides of the channel and will erode them away when you don't do anything about it. So that's why they're repairing and installing these things. already getting warm not because of temperature but the exercise in doing and a backpack closing off your back preventing you from sweating there is not helping This morning I had to go to the dentist at a quarter past ten. I knew I had some chipped tooth, a back tooth actually, a molder. It was repaired very quickly. And now we'll see a bill in future. I have insurance for it, but not everything is covered. I'm getting 80% back of what I'm uh, what I'm paying. Bike coming towards me. It's like a girl. Sunglasses on, not really needed at the moment, but maybe she has contacts. 
prevent her from getting dust in her eyes and between the lens and her eyeball which is very painful I can assure you I used to wear contacts a long time ago two different kinds of contacts by the way at least in Holland they are soft contacts a little bit bigger and a little floppy look like a sheet of very thin plastic silicone and also you have hard contact lenses which are rigid and a little bit more smaller but way more susceptible to dust when I was younger I had contacts just because it could and I didn't like my glasses anymore had some real trouble in the past with them one lost one in a, in a bar somebody tried to get my attention I knew throwing a well something a coaster something you put your glass on and it hit my eyelid and boom down went my lens funny story because the next day I was also there of course a search for the lens couldn't find it and the next day I was there <laughs> and they found it on the bar when cleaning they kept it in a small shot glass with water to keep it dry uh, wet and I could use it again but it never was the quality it was so probably shouldn't have done that but lenses are quite expensive so I still have them I don't know what the quality is probably shriveled up and dried out and ready to throw away And since a long time I'm wearing glasses which is more well safer actually no damage to your eye and it's way easier in the morning you wake up you put your glasses on same thing when you go to sleep you put your glasses next to you and you're gonna sleep not a hassle for cleaning them losing them just said hi by raising my hand he said hi back, nice why not like I always say it doesn't cost anything to be friendly So that's the story about contacts no not really I thought of something else I had some issue with the contacts when I had got dust in it and then when you try to get the dust out I got somehow a scratch on my retina or the outer part of the not the retina no for sure the outer part of your eye in Holland we call it Hornfleece it was quite painful, couldn't wear a lens had to wear glasses but for two days I had a big red eye but luckily your eye is self-healing thank god but it was painful farmer doing the farmland in the 11 o'clock a lot of birds who are flying and looking behind them because when you plow the ground all kinds of stuff animals worms whatnot is going out coming out and it's dinner time for these these birds seagulls look, looks like 
We're having a feast. Some flies here. Have to be careful not to let them land in my mouth. It was quite nice at my parents' home, quite gezellig as we say in Holland, gezellig, this means nice and cozy, gezellig, gezellig does not have a English translation, gezellig is a word as Dutch as it can get. Somebody had a good time with friends in Holland. You say it was truly gezellig. Really gezellig. I know the word gezellig is a difficult word to say because it's the g. You Americans and foreigners don't know the g. The g. Van geschiedenis, history. By the way, have you ever noticed that when you take a trip somewhere, the same route to it, then the same route back, that the drive to the destination seems to be taking longer than the trip back, like on a holiday for instance, when you go from, well, in say Netherlands to the south of France, the feeling you have is that the trip to the location it takes more time or appears to take more time than a trip back not sure where that is maybe when you go you have to do much stuff to pack and to clean and then you're finally on your way looking where you're going to find out and when you go back well you had the holiday relaxed of course you also have to pack but maybe you know the road which you came from at least when you take the same route well, that's I'm, what I'm doing, and also to me it appears that this trip back goes faster than the one I took yesterday to go here. It doesn't make any sense because it's the same route, mostly, and the same distance at the same speed, so of course it would appear faster when you drive faster but I only can drive so fast as I'm doing 
Okay, in my earlier video I said some cadence, legs. Sort of muscle memory. I even can, cannot even slow down if I want to. When I don't pay attention, I'm gonna speed up again. And also there is no option to go faster. Not if I want to sustain this speed. Could go faster for a short while. But then I would be out of breath and not continue in the same speed. Ah, let the blood flow. Meaning the blood from the buttocks to the legs. Lift my behind from the saddle. Otherwise everything will get sleepy and nauseous. No, not nauseous, but fly. Doesn't feel numb, that's what I'm looking for. Not nauseous, numb. The feeling that you slept on your hand and wake up and the experience is as a totally detached body part that doesn't feel to belong to your body. Well, some 20 minutes into the journey, which is meaning you are looking at the second part of my trip. Let me break for a bit because there is coming a car. A car is coming, I mean. Go take a bend, so that will be okay. Motorcycle behind me. Probably not gonna drive behind me because it would be strange if he did. No, go to the right of me, go to the bridge over the Ames Canal. Ems channel. Nice house at two o'clock. One o'clock now. little bitty. There's more traffic today than it was ye yesterday. This whole different time slot I was driving in because it was in the morning. And now it's in the afternoon. And then we'll get in Groningen. It will be even busier because that will be around five o'clock or something. Small flies everywhere on my nose, itching, landing there, not sure why. Just wipe some sweat off my forehead, otherwise it will be running in my eyes. And yes, I do have eyebrows, but that seem not to work very well.
well, it's mown here very nicely when I drove here when I got from Groningen to Abigadam. A tractor driver was a farmer was mowing this part. Did a good job. And the, when the we went or reached Ludeveer Municipal Slochteren. Slochteren is a city where the NAM discovered in the 50, late 50, 1950s or so natural gas flowing off, uh, coming out from the ground. Alpacas, that's nice. And where llamas? I don't know. Animals with funny hair on their head. And Ludeweer is, well, a small, well, village. Some houses. My grandparents from my father's side got their dog from here, their poodle, black poodle. I was quite a bit younger when they got it and I was afraid of a little thing because it was quite uh, quite a busy and barking dog running around, jumping onto you, well, that's what puppies do, so, but I was a little afraid of him and I, when I got to visit my grandparents' house, I can remember that I sometimes stood on his chair to avoid this animal, but later on I came to enjoy it. I like dogs, by the way, nothing wrong with dogs. A lot wrong with their owners, but not with the dogs. get something to drink just like last time driving while drinking this time it's water with something in it that looks like pee but it is not it's quite tasty try to lid, get a lid on, put it back in my backpack while driving. A hey dog. Hello Mr. Dog. You're a big dog. Fly in my mouth, and that's not spitting it out. Ah, that's not good. Damn. I see the use of flies from Mother Nature, but get away from me.
car behind me, that's nice. And to my left, some cows. In front of me, some cows. Let's not bother the cows. Oh, hello. She is making noises. That's her again. Probably saluting me, going by, saying hi to Dutch bike blogger. By the way, I have no clue why these roads are not straight. They seem to go all over the place. Maybe it has to do with how water was going or how the fields was, were divided in a long time ago. But there has to be a reason why the road is the road where it is. No, that's wrong. There has to be a reason for the road to be where it is. Strange location for a Dutch postal van, by the way. Just came by to my right. Let me see where I'm ending up. what this sign is going to say when I look back. Ludeweer. Well, I just left Ludeweer. To go straight because I want to go to Lage Land.
Well, you went to buy a house, there is one for sale. Now entering Lage Land, 30 kilometers an hour zone. Now was mowing his lawn with a sit mower, a little tractor. Well, let me have a look. Well, giving right away is not your thing, is it? But I let them actually, so... Let's go on the bike lane. A little more safer, not flatter, but safer. Let's wipe some sweat off my forehead before it enters my eyes again. <sighs> well, somewhat halfway. on the road again because this bike lane sucks. Helicopter. I can see it. It's over there. Let's coast a bit and let the blood flow again. Well, this is a really nice uh, drive when you like your quietness.
from my left, the slog the deep, and it looks like there is a lot of water in there. Water is quite high, looks like. I think. Not sure. coming so that's why I got over to the right bike lane well good for you there was a sign that said bike lane but like I said it's too bumpy take it to drive over it and it went very well when I drove the other way Van. That's the reason I don't listen to music and have headphones on my ears, on my head. You can't hear a damn thing. And every car that passes you will be a surprise. So keep your ears for listening to traffic and not for music. Same thing in your car. Don't crank up your volume. Because you can't hear a damn thing, you can't hear the honking, you can't hear the sirens of the ambulance, police, and the fire trucks. No. I don't know if there is such a device because where when a police car, ambulance or fire truck is driving with signals, horn and lights and when you have your radio on that they send out a signal to cancel your music and let them hear you. Or let you hear them I mean. This part does look a little bit more flat, so let's drive over here. It's going down again. Electrical powered bike. That's what I hate about the bike lane. Some parts are okay, some not. Bumpy, and it's all up and down. Please make it flat, like the road. It's a much more effective and nicer way to drive. Oh, another speedy. Laying flat on your back, driving, less wind resistance, which would be the day, would be great of course. Again, a big dip in the bike lane.
so you can see a damn thing to my left the dike then the road and then the water I would much rather be driving a little bit higher also they get to mow something about this because the grass on the sides is hanging over on the, the bike lane it looks actually looks smaller than it is makes it harder to pass and harder to get by when you get traffic from the opposite direction Next time skip this bike lane and drive on the road because it's horrible. It's safe but horrible. Okay. Ik kan niet zo naar snel, dus... Someone walking on the bike lane with uh, more attention to his phone uh, conversation and where he was going and looking. Forty five minutes or fifty or fifty minutes into the ride. End of bike lane. How nice. Let's have a look. Surprisingly how busy it is here. Motherfucker standing with a car on the bike lane, you dipstick. Dumbass. It's okay to stand there if, as long as you don't block it. And that's what you did. 
hand driver. Ducks to one o'clock. Well, in it up at Leeuwenborg again. You've seen quite a lot of it last videos. Well, we're gonna arrive at home at five years or so maybe a little bit later Round about three quarters. So effectively going left.
lichtboei. All parts of a ship and ship inspired. Well, really don't have the power anymore to get up here. That's cost me a lot of energy. Ha! Ah, gee! Man! Ah. Let's coast down here. Rolling down the hill. Little bit pain in the hiney. A pelvis bone actually. You know the bone where the hips are connected in. The, the spine. That part does little. Does hurt a little. Not the nicest feeling I can tell you. I can tell you would be glad when I was home, were home, but you know what I mean. I want to be home, at home. Tired. Well, not even tired, but my, my bottom part is hurting. Right here. On the Ulgesmaweg now. Well, it's going to be a little later than 5 o'clock. Three minutes or so. That's not going to happen in three minutes. I will not go from here to home. Or five or six or something.
now on YouTube, often your YouTube on Google Maps, I have to figure out how long the distance was and what time I took to me to drive so I can figure out my speed. Twenty five kilometers an hour or so, but I think the distance is a little bit shorter, and the time I took is a little bit longer than an hour. consideration that yesterday the drive from Roning to Amsterdam I had wind in my back and this time it's well neutral and if there's something uh, wind in my face well certainly not in the back actually here Yeah, talking on your phone, on your bike. Good thing to do. They try in Holland to get a law through for banning by uh, calling on your mobile, on your bike. Well, I'm gonna have to walk a little. That's not something I expected to be doing. So this effectively does cut, it does not cut the time. Well, maybe to the other side of the bridge. Like I said, that doesn't improve my time. To my right, the Molukken plant soon. And I'm on the Korweg, of course, almost home. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Also, click on the not a bell button for a notification. If you do like to share something with me, please do so in the comment section below. Of course, I will you see you. We'll see you next time. Have a great day, and be safe out there.